The dawn of the wearables age is upon us, and that has led us here at iFixit to ask the question, is it possible for a device as small and light as a watch to be repairable? Hot on the heels of Samsung's latest flagship phone, the Galaxy S5's turn on our teardown table, we're turning our attention to the wearables, the Samsung Gear 2 and the Gear Fit. Will these devices be the answer to my childhood dream of being a super secret spy? And will we be able to put them back together once we've torn them down? All these questions will be answered soon enough, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and first up on our teardown table is the brand new Gear 2. The Gear 2 weighed in at 41 grams without its wrist strap and comes with a 1.63 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 320 by 320. It has four gigabytes of internal memory and a two megapixel camera capable of recording 720p video at 30 frames per second. Getting into the Gear 2 was simple enough. Once we popped the wrist strap off, we just needed to remove four Torx screws and do a little light prying and we got the rear case off and revealed the inside of the device. As soon as we're in, we take a look at this battery. It's super simple to replace with this nifty pull tab. It's a 300 milliamp hour battery that Samsung has claimed will give you two to three days of battery life. A longer charge cycle equals a longer battery life, and we like that very much, Samsung. With the battery out of the way, we move on to the camera. With just the help of our tweezers, the camera came right out. This tiny little thing is what will allow you to take your super secret spy photos, as long as two megapixels is high enough resolution for the CI. While we have the gear open, we notice the gasket lining the case and screws. This modest arrangement is enough to garner the Gear 2 its IP67 certification, making it safe for immersion in up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. There's just one cable we need to disconnect to free the motherboard, the LCD digitizer cable. This tiny little thing packs quite a punch with what is likely a DRAM package containing a one gigahertz dual core CPU layered beneath this chip. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Samsung Gear 2 scored a eight out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, the watch band is super easy to remove, speeding replacement and upgrades. Screws, clips, and spring contacts make up the trifecta of easy opening. Getting in through the rear case is a snap. Once you're inside, the battery can be peeled out and replaced with no tools. But on the downside, the Gear 2 has a fused display assembly glued into the front of the device, making screen replacement a little difficult and costly. Next up on our teardown table was the Samsung Gear Fit. The Fit has a slightly more comfortable design for those with smaller wrists and features a 1.84 inch curved display with a resolution of 432 by 128, a 180 megahertz ARM Cortex processor, and a ton of sensors, including a heart rate monitor, accelerometer, and a gyroscope. And according to Samsung, three to four days worth of power during normal use. Getting the gear open started off easy enough, but once we got it out of the wrist straps, we hit a roadblock. There were no screws, which means it's time to bring out our eye opener. After applying some liberal doses of heat to our little friend, we started prying. With the curved display pried up, we got our first look inside the fit. With the display removed, we get our first look at the motherboard. A closer look at the motherboard shows a segmented three-piece construction with ribbon cables joining the parts. This board is packed with chips like the 180 megahertz 32-bit ARM Cortex MCU and the six-axis gyroscope accelerometer, just to name a few. Now we can see that the battery is held in place with a strut. And just like the Gear 2, it has a pull tab, making it super simple to replace yourself. Since we can't find any markings to confirm the power of this battery, we're taking our information from Gizmodo on this one. They're telling us that this is a 210 milliamp hour battery, which again, will give you a few days or more of power. With the fit taken apart, we turn our attention towards repairability. That score again is between one and 10, 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Samsung Gear Fit scored a six out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, it may be a bit of work, but users can replace their own battery, greatly extending the useful life of the fit. The watch band can be removed and replaced in seconds. But on the downside, some components are soldered onto the main board and not individually replaceable without soldering. And finally, the unibody design means that any repairs require heat and prying to remove the display first. 
And that's our teardown roundup. For the complete teardown of both these devices, including tons of beautiful high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.